I'm sorry, but why are you looking at me like that? Early. Lynn, it's been six months. What are you talking about? I was out a couple of days. Maybe a week. Two weeks? I was just here. Where were you? I found a magic shield. Yes, I talked to the fairy again. I'm sorry. And then there were all these fairies after me. And they kept trying to kill me or steal from me. They say time passes differently in the land of the fair folk. Why didn't you just stay on the path? I was trying to be brave. But I know better now. Oh. Fear is the only thing I can trust. And you're telling me six months? It's a good thing I came here first. No point in going home. My job's gone, they've probably already divided up my stuff, and nobody's gonna want a maid who disappeared for six months. I didn't even have to go through the woods, I could have taken a nice safe paved road. It's longer, but not six months. Shh, it's okay. You're alive, that's what matters. No, it's not. I'm alive. I'm breathing, yeah, great, but what do I even have left? You can find a new job. Stay with me and we'll work everything else out. Lynn, I thought you were dead. Just let me be happy, okay? I'm so happy you're back. breakfast on the tray, unless you'd rather eat inside. It's fine. Thank you. I just... I don't... What do I even do after all that? We're going to take it one day at a time. You're that strong, brave woman who walked off the path and fought with fair folk and survived, remember? But I'm not that strong, brave woman anymore. Look, I know it sounds silly, but... Could you get me some of that rose tea? I'm afraid I'm all out of it. The new flowers haven't gone to hips yet. But I have peppermint or chamomile, that's it. You're out of it? I thought you were just about to get... Six months. I've got a bit of dried lavender. I'll boil it up with some honey, it'll be delicious. And then safety can taste like that. Don't you worry, you're here with me and I know this tea will be just right. Don't worry, here with me. Do you not want the lavender? I could get you milk or plain water or... How do I know you're you? Well, I don't know who else you think I'd be. It's still just me. Who else you think I'd be? Just me? That's right, me in my garden with my tea and my quilts. But you don't have the tea. Well, I have peppermint, chamomile, lavender. The rose tea. I don't always have rose tea. But I'll check if Ed has any left, okay? Tell me you're Amy. Of course I am. I'm Amy. The one I've known all my life. Yes, I have known you all my life. I knew you when we were kids and we used to play throwing black walnuts at each other and our mothers were so angry at the stains. I knew you when you had that first crush on Robin, even though everybody could tell that wasn't going to work out. And you knew me when I lost that snaggle tooth and Jack started to like me. And I remember that old goat at the farm that used to charge the fence every time you walked past. And I remember how you cried when it died. Cried when it died. I didn't know why you were crying. I hated that old goat more than anything. But it was gone after it always been there. And it just didn't make any sense. And you know me. You knew me when Jack started coming around again. And you knew me when he'd bring these silly little things, like sharper shears. And you knew me when he proposed. You knew me when we were married and when little Jack was born. And you knew me when the sickness came through town. After the fever took them, you stayed with me for a month. You said you didn't care if you lost your apprenticeship. You'd find something else. 
and you'll find something else now. It's me. Always me. I'm sorry. My mind's all messed up. Don't you apologize for anything. You've been through a bad time and had a lot to adjust to. Everything's going to be okay. Amy? Yeah? I didn't play with black walnuts with you as a kid. When I was really young, I stepped on one to get the husk off and it was all full of maggots. I never could stand to touch them after that. Really? I thought that was you. Amy? Are you sure that all fairies can't lie? You know them better than I do, but all the stories say. It's just... How would I know? If... If I was a fairy? Lynn, you're being ridiculous. A fairy wouldn't know all that. But you didn't know all that. You forgot about the walnuts. It was 25 years ago. What are you doing? If you can touch this iron and not transform... Put it down and I'll pick it up and show you, okay? I'm not a fairy. I'm not putting it down. I understand you feel tense right now. I really need you to calm down and let go of the knife. What, so you can attack me the moment I'm unarmed? Is that it? There aren't any fair folk in the village. They all live in the woods. We're safe here. I stabbed a fairy queen. I doubt the fairies care if they're not supposed to be in the village. I've lived at the edge of these woods my whole life and no fairies ever come out. You stayed with me. After my family died, you stayed for a month. I want to help you, Lynn. How do you know that? You act like you know everything. It's so close, but it's not right. Nothing's right. You stayed with me. After my family died, you stayed. I won't be fooled ever again. I know who you are. I know what you are. Now touch the knife. I'm sorry. I missed you so much. I couldn't stop crying, thinking I'd lost the one person who was there. The one person who was like family to me. But I can't do this. I can't lose my life over you. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. If you're ever ready to come back, if you're ever ready to trust me. But I can't do this. You have to go. Amy. to go. So where am I supposed to go now? I have nothing, you understand? Nothing. And she ran through the woods, and she stepped off the path and returned to the tree where she first found the shield. But no knife held no chain, held no fairy, held no hope. So she fell at its roots and wept. Don't be so down. Look, you can still see the path. Where are you? I'm here. Huh. What are you? A sparrow, miss, if you must know. Why are you talking? That's very rude. I see the desperate in the woods. You aren't so lost this time around. The pound's right there. You saw me lost and you didn't help me? I could not help you. No, not I. For hungry travelers often eat birds. It's far safer to stay here, up high. But you could have let me out. You were followed then. You aren't now. I lost everything. These woods swallowed up six months of my life. Poof. Gone. And I lost my friend. If that even was her. I can't feel safe anymore. I can't stop thinking that at any moment it's all going to fall apart. But I had the shield. I was an idiot. Trusting that I'd be fine, but I was happy. I just want to not be scared. I want to stop hurting my friends. I want... I need the shield back. 
here's another, worried in the woods, sad and weak and soon to die. Will you meet her? Did she ask for me? To her I do not speak, but I see she does not have the shield, but she is a curiosity. Human or fairy? Oh, you all look the same to me. Well, I've burned my bridges with the one person who knows I'm alive, so sure. What have I got to lose? Follow me. There was a tree where she now sits, the tree that I think made your shield. A woman died there, weeping, see? Long ago was Pharaoh saw her, and she told her chicks to me. Could someone make another shield? The magic's gone now, sure enough, and the stump's all cracked and dead. It's there ahead, just past those trees. Okay, well... I can't do much for whoever it is, but if they want company from someone who really gets how awful these woods are, I can handle that. Will you show me the way out after? Sparrow? Sparrow?